hey loves it's Britt and in this video I'm going to talk about what it means to have your ascendant conjunct to someone's south node in sinistry or vice versa so this one I'm actually surprised I haven't talked about this yet um, this is a very karmic connection that can actually feel very comfortable very natural very easy to relate to each other um, it's kind of like talking with someone or hanging out with someone being with someone who is so similar to you on the most basic primal levels so the um, ascendant person can feel like their personality is really understood and reinforced by the south node person even too much so at times so like for example like if um it's an aries ascendant person the south node person can reinforce those aries qualities so much um that the ascendant person is like an Aries overlord, overload, sorry. And um, it can actually do the same vice versa where the ascendant person by just their natural mode of action and expression and how they um, express their personality really makes the south node person even more of their south node. And so it can um, end up being that the south node person is held back by this relationship um, or it's like the south node person can even bring kind of like a karmic energy to the ascendant person making them or like nobody makes us do anything but almost like allowing them to express an energy of their ascendant that is more unhealthy or like yeah, more of the negative characteristics of the sign of the ascendant. So we, we can see this in relationships where the two people reinforce each other's bad habits or negative qualities or qualities that they should be working on and then they get in this relationship and they just let them all out and like go crazy together. So that would be the negative side of this karmic connection is that it can hold them back and allow them to stay in the more toxic energy of that side. Okay, but similarly, you could even see that with Ascendant Conjunct North Node where, you know, it still, because the power of the nodes is so karmic, you could also see that happening with that conjunction. So it's not just because it's the South Node here, it's just... With the Ascendant, it's a super primal, like, unthinking part of us where, you know, it's a big part of our purpose too. So it, depending on the nature of, like, the two individuals, this connection could actually be helpful for the Ascendant person specifically to get to know a lot about their own identity and become an even stronger personality or, um, yeah, like, it, it could work out that they become a better version of themselves, but they could also become a worse version of themselves. They're just definitely becoming more of that sign of the Ascendant and the South Node. So it's a very powerful connection. It's an aspect of very strong bonding where it does feel like they have known each other in a past life, and they probably have. And they're just so damn similar that, yeah, they're negative qualities are similar their positive qualities are similar and um, they just really have a lot in common and it's really easy to relate and really natural and comfortable and cozy like I'm in this blanket right now because I got cold but like this is like an ascendant conjunct south node sinistry they're just you know there's no challenge it's just very comfortable and comforting and they just you know they just really get each other right and um yeah, like too much so at times that, yeah, like you could see these two people together just going like unhinged on the sign of this conjunction. Like they're just 
a very powerful presence, a strong personality. Um, watch out for that energy because this conjunction is is very powerful and yeah that energy I mean depending on what other conjunctions are going on in the this industry too but this one will probably dominate the relationship and that signs energy will be a major theme and then it's just kind of how they use it you know like is the south node person at a place of involvement with that energy or are they still really stuck in the karmic energy of that sign right that's going to be very telling of whether this relationship is toxic or just very healthy and healing and comforting because I do believe it can be both so the interesting thing though about this is that the north and south nodes are always directly opposite as are the ascendant descendant axis right so this one actually could be very common in marriage partnerships because we have the south node conjunct the ascendant so we're very similar but our north node is conjunct their descendant so the actual highest purpose of this relationship is to learn to harmonize and be together as a couple so it definitely could be an indication of marriage even more so than the reversal at times because like I said so it's the south node conjunct the ascendant so that means the north node is conjunct the descendant the seventh house cusp which represents relationships of all kinds right so this one can be powerfully attractive and the node person is like a pivotal person in the ascendant person's life and a, a lot really depends on where they're at with their north and south nodes. Um, something that one of my books says is that um, the north node and the south node when we have a conjunction to someone's opposition in their natal chart so meaning the our north node is conjunct to a point in their chart and then our south node is conjunct to a point in their chart that is opposite it shows that that person, um, the node person, is responsible for their split in that opposition. Now, since the um, ascendant descendant axis are not um, a planet in opposition, it's just a point, so it's always you know going to be in opposition. It's not quite as heavily karmic as that, but it definitely still has that effect of feeling like this is a karmic person, this is a karmic relationship, there's something here, there's an attraction here, there's a reason to be together here, there's something to learn here. So it's definitely one of these powerful aspects that you will see commonly um, in couples or significant relationships. Now, it might not be the forever relationship, you know, we'd have to see some other compatibility. Sometimes the North and South node conjunctions and connections are just showing there's something to be learned, like some lesson. But because of the North node person's North node being conjunct their seventh house, they could actually make the best use of this by being a couple and learning to relate to each other and have, you know, a romantic relationship would definitely be a good use of this aspect for sure and there is usually a feeling that we want to do that with this aspect because there is a compatibility having your nodes right like especially if this is a really close conjunction on someone's ascendant descendant axis is a very powerful thing it's potentially could be one of the most powerful node connections but the thing is is that a lot of people do not really have their accurate birth time so it's, you know, conjunctions to the ascendant could be off, right? So that's something also you want to look out for when you're doing ascendant sinistry is like a lot of people don't actually have their accurate birth time, right? So you wouldn't be able to do that in that case. Just if the person has um, a fairly accurate birth time, would you be able to actually have this conjunction, right? So Anyways, yeah, it's definitely powerful stuff. It definitely feels like karmic past life stuff. Like this is one of those ones where you see this person across a crowded room and you're like, oh my God, who's that? I have to know them. Or you look into their eyes and it's like, 
ah, the angels are singing, you know them, you've known them before. There's some purpose here and you want to explore it. So yeah, I'd love to know your experience of this conjunction. Was it like this? Was it not like this? Let me know in the comments, you guys, and thanks for watching. Talk soon.